problem. Find the area of the triangle triangle area of the triangle formed by the tangent tangent at x1 comma y1 on the circle on the circle x square plus y square minus a square is equal to 0 with the coordinate axis with the coordinate axis coordinate axis this is the problem find the area of the triangle formed by the tangent at x1 comma y1 on the circle x square plus y square minus a square is equal to 0 with the coordinate axis ok let us do this problem in actually three steps first step is find the equation of the tangent at x1 comma y1 to the given circle that is s1 is equal to 0 so x x1 plus y y1 minus a square is equal to 0 after that find the x intercept y intercept made by the line on the coordinate axis that means x intercept we have to find out and y intercept we have to find out after that the area formed by the any line with coordinate axis is given by the formula of modulus of x intercept into y intercept or otherwise we have one formula the area of the triangle area of the triangle formed by the line with the coordinate axis is given by c square by of times c square by a b also. So, same method we can adopt it any any one of the methods. So, first let us find out equation of the tangent ok. Now, equation of the circle is x square plus y square minus a square is equal to 0. Equation of the tangent at x 1 comma y 1 to the circle s is equal to 0 is s 1 is equal to 0. That means, x x 1 plus y y 1 minus a square is equal to 0. This is the equation of this tangent. Here a stands for x 1, b stands for y 1, c stands for minus a square. Therefore, the area formed by the line with the coordinate axis coordinate axis is equal to half mod c square by a b. So, half mod c square c stands for minus a square. So, minus a square whole square a stands for x 1 into y 1. This is equal to a square by 2 mod x 1 y 1 square units. This is the answer.
ok. Have you followed my dear children? Ok, if you have any doubts, so you can just mail us or you can discuss through our YouTube channel. Ninth problem. Find the pole of the line, pole of the line x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0 with respect to the circle. circle x square plus y square minus 4 x y plus 6 y minus 12 is equal to 0 plus 2 is equal to 0 with respect to the given circle we have to find out. So, that means we do not know the pole. Let us suppose the pole of the given line with respect to the circle B x 1 comma y 1. That means, equation of the polar we can find out. What is the equation of the polar? We know that equation of the polar is s 1 is equal to 0. So, let us find out equation of the polar of x 1 comma y 1 with respect to the circle. So, after that the equation of the polar and given equation represent coincident lines. If two linear equations represent coincident lines, we know that a 1 by a 2 is equal to b 1 by b 2 is equal to c 1 by c 2. With the help of that condition, we can find out x 1 value and y 1 value. So, that the pole of the line can be determined with respect to the circle. Okay, let us proceed. Here given x square plus y square minus 4 x plus 6 y minus 12 is equal to 0. Now, let p x 1 comma y 1 be the pole equation of polar of P with respect to given circle is S 1 is equal to 0. What do you mean by S 1? We know x x 1 plus y y 1 minus 2 times of x plus x 1 plus 3 of y plus y 1 minus 12 is equal to 0. Now, this can be written x x 1 plus y y 1 minus 2 x minus 2 x 1 plus 3 y 1 this is 3 y plus 3 y 1 minus 12 is equal to 0. From these two take x 1 common that is sorry from these two take x common you get x 1 minus 2 of x. From these two take y common we get y plus 3 of y y 1 plus 3 of y. Next what is the remaining one we have minus of 2 x plus 1 minus 3 y 1 plus 12 is equal to 0. Say equation 1. Now, given line write down. What is the given line? That is x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0. Say 2. 1 and 2 represents a same line. 
that means x 1 minus 2 by 1 is equal to y 1 plus 3 by 1 is equal to. So, this is minus of 2 x 1 minus 3 y 1 plus 12 by 2. Okay. Let us suppose this x 1 minus 2 by 1 y 1 plus 3 by 1 is equal to minus of 2 x 1 minus 3 y 1 plus 12 by 2 is equal to k, where k does not equal to 0. So, we get like this x 1 minus 2 is equal to k, y 1 plus 3 is equal to k. Now, 2 x 1 minus 3 y 1 plus 12 is equal to minus k, because the minus goes that side. Now, here x 1 is equal to k plus 2, y 1 is equal to k minus 3. So, now let us do one thing. Substitute this x 1 y 1 value in the next third equation. 2 into k plus 2 minus 3 into k minus 3 plus 12 is equal to minus k. Okay. Now, 2 k plus 4 minus 3 k plus 9 plus 12 is equal to minus k minus k plus 25 is equal to minus k. Now, this is minus 2 k, this will be minus 2 k, this will be minus 2 k and minus 2 k. Okay. Uh, now, 25 is equal to minus 2 k and k. So, that will be minus k k is equal to minus 25. So, now x 1 is equal to k plus 2, y 1 is equal to k minus 3. This is minus 25 plus 2, this is minus 25 minus 3. So, this is minus 23 minus 28. Therefore, pole is equal to x 1 comma y 1 that is minus 23 comma minus 28. Okay. Here once again you check it. This is once again 2 x 1 minus 3 y 1 plus 2 is equal to minus 2 into k minus 2 k that is that is the change you have to consider minus 2 k minus 2 k and like this we get minus k is equal to 25 k is equal to minus 25. Substituting in x 1 and y 1 we get minus 23 and minus 28 minus 23 comma minus 28 is the pole. Okay? Right.